Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to download the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra firmware. It is very simple, just access this SAM update page, I will leave the link in the video description. Here in the model field, you will type the model of your smartphone in our example, we will type Galaxy S22 Ultra. As you can see, more than one option appears, in these cases it is recommended that you search for the specific model, example, SMS908U. Where do you find this information? In smartphone settings, on the product box, and when you enter download mode on your smartphone. We select the model, and in the next field, you will type the region in our example, we will type USC. Then we mark the option for files, and we solve the recaptcha, and we do the search. That's it, Sam Update has located the latest firmware for this model on the Samsung server. Here is some information about the firmware located. By clicking on this link, you can access Samsung's official description for this firmware and previous versions. Returning to the Sam Update page, we have two download options. You can download the firmware directly from the Samsung server or download a copy of the file that is hosted on our Google Drive. To download the firmware directly from the Samsung server, you need the KF Host Desktop Tools tool. You might be wondering, why? Unfortunately, due to some limitations imposed by Samsung in its API and some limitations of the JavaScript programming language in the front end, it is not possible to download directly from Samsung's server in the browser. But if you prefer, we made a copy of this firmware, and we hosted it on our drive, so you can download it through the browser the firmware hosted on Google Drive. Here you will find the nomenclature of all the files that make up the firmware, when you download it it will be a single zip file, but when you unzip it you will find five files in the case of this firmware. Sam Update always finds the latest firmware on Samsung server. If you are looking for a previous version visit this link and you will see all the firmware we have available for that model and region. Here guys is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install the firmware on your smartphone. To install, you will need the Odin tool and Samsung drivers. You will need to restart your device in download mode. And here, folks, is a simulator that I developed to help you install the firmware. And as you can see for this firmware here in Odin, we have only four files loaded. But for this model, if we look at it, there are five files, why is that? It's very simple, these two files are basically the same thing, but there is an important detail that differentiates these two files. If you upload the file that starts with home underscore CSC, the installation will keep all your files on your smartphone. Now if you load the file that starts with CSC underscore OWO, all files will be deleted. This file is recommended to correct failures, bugs in the system, the simulator recommends this one, but you decide which of the two files to use. Here I have an observation, no matter which file you are going to use, remember to make a backup of your files, no matter what procedure you are going to do, no matter how small the chance of losing your files is, always make a backup before doing the procedure. Here in Odin you will load one of the two files in the CSC field, as you can see the simulator recommends the file that starts with CSC underscore OWO. The AP file is the biggest file and it is common for Odin to crash while loading, but don't worry, this is normal, just wait. In the option tab of your Odin, you have to make sure that the following options are checked. Auto Reboot and the F Reset Time option, as shown in the simulator. Make sure to mark the options and load the files as shown in the simulator, with the observation in the CSC field that you will choose one of the two files. That's it, if you installed the Samsung drivers, loaded the files, checked the options in your Odin, and turned on your smartphone in download mode and connected it to your computer via the USB cable, then everything is ready for installation. Now just press the start button on your Odin. Here I have one more note, 
make sure you know the email and password of your Google account that is logged into your smartphone or remove the account before the procedure. Remembering that this is a simulator, so the information that appears in that lower left field and in that upper left field, after clicking start it is not necessarily what will appear in your Odin. Just be careful to load the files as shown and check the options in the option tab. Remember, if you liked the video, leave your like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys, and see you next time.